At this point, we've gone over enough of the basics. Let's start programming. The first thing we're going to look at is the hello world of the Arduino world, which is blinking an LED. So the first thing I want you to do is fire up your Arduino software. And we're going to open up the example basic blink. Now remember, if I had closed this window first, Arduino software would have quit. So I want to open up a new example, then I can close the default blank one. And before you can do anything, you need to do two things. You need to set what kind of board it is and how it talks to the computer. So first thing, let's look at the board. You go into tools, board, and mine's already selected. Arduino, Genuino, Uno. It's the type of board I'm using. The next thing you need to do is the port. Now, you'll see there's nothing there. Bluetooth incoming port. That's because I haven't plugged my Arduino in yet. So once I plug my Arduino in, you're gonna notice a couple of things. Number one, the light comes on. And number two, when I go into tools port again, I can see a new port has opened up. And fortunately with the new software and new boards, it actually will tell you Arduino, Uno, Genuino, Uno. It automatically propagates. Now, if you don't see your board listed, it could be a different variation in software, boards, operating systems. Typically, it's the last one on the list. So I'm gonna pick Arduino Uno, and now I've selected what board, and I've selected what port. And I can go ahead and upload this code. So first thing that we typically do is we click Verify. Although this is an example sketch, you would hope that it verifies and compiles okay, which it does. And you can see down here in the message bar, done compiling, and I have all white text down here. Generally means everything's okay. If it was red, you might wanna read what's happening there. Next to the verify is the upload. I will click upload, and you notice these two lights blink, and then this extra little LED there blinks. What is that little LED? That little one, the Arduino people have kindly added an LED to pin 13 for us. So to get started with blinking an LED, you actually don't need anything but your Arduino, USB cord, and your computer. Now that's great, but you know what? We're talking about prototyping and building things. So let's look at the schematic for this and how to wire this up properly and not rely on the LED on the board. So first thing I wanna do is talk about the schematic and then we'll go over the code. I'll move that out of the way. Grab my piece of paper here. And remember, when we're drawing a schematic for Arduino, we would typically label this Arduino because we're not talking about the pins in the proper order. We're just drawing a schematic and where the pins come out, it doesn't really matter. So I might write right here 13 and right here, I might label this as ground. So the schematic for a blinking LED, if we look at the blink sketch, is that the LED needs to be connected to pin 13 and then we need to ground that LED. So we would draw a line out here. If you remember the symbol before, this is the LED. This, what's that? That's actually a resistor. Now in the example, they tell you you should have a 220 ohm resistor. It can actually be even more than that. I wouldn't recommend less. And what that does is it limits the amount of current going through the LED because an LED should not have five volts. It has about 2.2 volts is, is a safe guess. They vary slightly, but that's a pretty good guess there. And the 220 ohm will allow this LED to light up without burning it out. It also limits the amount of current going back into the Arduino. So this is the sketch. If we were to draw this out, basically you're gonna have a breadboard right here I'm gonna have my LED on it. I'm gonna have this positive part of the LED run to pin 13 and the negative run here. So let's build that. So here's my Arduino. First thing I wanna do is unplug it. Should never work with the Arduino when it's plugged in. I'm gonna grab a breadboard. First thing I wanna do is add my ground. Remember these rails right here are the power supply. It's a really good habit to get into 
running your power and your grounds to the rails first. Now on this one, I don't need power. I just need a ground rail. So I'm going to run that one and I'm going to hold off on this for now. I'm going to add my LED to the breadboard. And remember, these are connected horizontally. So if I were to add the LED in this fashion, these two leads are connected and that would not work. So I want to add them in this direction. doesn't matter. Pick a row. I even skipped one in between. Hopefully you can see that well. And on the LED, the long one is the positive. The short one is the negative. So I have the long one on the top, short one on the bottom. Now, the long one, this is a common beginner mistake. The long one or the positive, the anode, needs to be connected to pin 13. And you need a resistor. We can't add a resistor horizontally across because the current then would just flow around the resistor. It wants to go in the least amount of resistance. So if there's a resistor, it's just going to cross the rail of the breadboard. So what you actually have to do is plug one end of the resistor into the row with the positive and another one into a whole new row anywhere. It doesn't matter. And then what I'm going to do is connect the negative side of the LED to the negative rail. And I connect the other end of that resistor and I can pick any one of the holes horizontally to pin 13. This is how the electricity is going to flow. It's going to come out of pin 13 into the resistor, goes to a new row to the positive side of the LED, then from the, the negative side of the LED into the ground rail, back into the ground of the Arduino. Every electrical circuit needs to be a closed loop, otherwise it's open. Think about a button. When it's an open loop, nothing flows. When you press the button, it's a closed loop. Now we can plug it back in and let's see what happens. That blink sketch, which was now blinking on the board, is now blinking on my breadboard. So that's our first circuit. It is the hello world of Arduinos and LEDs. And what I want you to do is go take a look at that code. And just like we talked about earlier, you can see the first section is commented. We get into the void setup. Void setup, remember, runs once. And in this case, it says pin mode, telling what a specific pin will do. Pin mode 13, 13 is the pin, output. So now we're sending current out of that pin. And in the loop, which runs over and over again, it says, digitally write 13 high. So when you write digitally, you're writing a one or a zero on or off. There's no in between. It's not an analog analog. You can write zero all the way up zero volts all the way to five volts or zero through 1023. When we look at this code here, we have digital write pin 13, make it high, turn it on. High is on, low is off. Then we delay 1000. Why 1000? Well, these are milliseconds. 1000 milliseconds equals one second. Digitally write 13 low. Now we're telling it pin 13 to turn off or write low, followed by a delay of 1000. Here's another place that beginners typically get caught up. Let's say I were to delete this delay of off. And instead of actually deleting it, here's another tip and trick. Just comment it. So when you're playing around your code, use comments to turn lines on and off. It's a great way of trying it. Now, if I upload this, watch what happens. The Arduino is blinking. And the light stays on. Why? Because the light turns on for one second and then it turns off on for one second. There was no delay. So don't forget when you turn things on and off, if you want a blinking system, you need to have that delay in there. You need to pause for a minute. Otherwise it's delaying for basically one microsecond. You're never going to notice that. So let's get rid of the comment there and re-upload our code. And we should be back to blinking once a second. Now what I'd like you to do is go ahead and play with some of those variables in there. Maybe rewire your Arduino to a different pin or try changing some of the delays so that it blinks faster or shorter. Could you actually make this so that it blinks out SOS and Morse code? These are things that I think you'll be able to do with a little bit of practice.